hello friends welcome to my channel this is Charan in this video I will show you how to bind data into a drop down list SQL server database in ASP.NET C Sharp coding before binding the data into a drop down list let's check my user database I'm expanding the database for this example I'm using sample DB I'm expanding the user sample DB the tables for this example I am using CHK box right click select top thousand rows and notice here in this table CHK box contains two columns one is the auto ID column and the other one CHK name is for the country names now my aim is I want to display these country names into a drop down list using C sharp coding in ASP.NET. Let's open Visual Studio.NET. We'll write the code. For this video tutorial, I have created a new project. The project name is data iPhone display iPhone drop down. And notice in this project, the folders and ASPX pages and config files are the default one. I'm creating a new ASPX page, add new item. I'm choosing web form bind drop down add let's close this solution explorer in this ASPX page I'm adding drop down list controls go to toolbox expand the general drop down list this control must be inside the form tag after adding the drop down list now I'm creating a connection string in web.config file so we need the data connection string properties for that go to server explorer right click the data connections add connection the server name is I'm choosing the database sample DB click OK and here you can notice under the data connections we have created a new connection string sample DB dot DBO right click that one go to properties the connection string the data source grab the whole part up to the integrated security is equal to true go to solution explorer open the web.config file and notice line number 11 to 13 the connection string is added into the web.config file but just delete this one and paste the data source connection string that's it I'll go to dot aspex page I'll right click view code to connect the SQL server database we need the namespaces I'm adding the namespaces using system dot configuration using system dot data using system dot data dot SQL client in the page load string main con is equals to configuration manager dot connection strings between double quotes I'm adding the connection string name which is default connection dot connection string SQL connection SQL con is equals to new SQL connection takes a parameter main con string 
SQL query is equals to select start from the table name is dbo dot chkbox is a table name bcat SQL data adapter SDA new SQL data adapter which takes two parameters one is the one is the SQL query and the second one is the SQL connection data table dt is equals to new data table sda dot fill method dt drop down list one dot data source is equals to dt drop down list one dot data value field the column name is chid drop down list one dot data text field chk name the last one i'm binding the drop down list drop down list dot data bind method that's it let's run this example on the google chrome to check the output and here we got the output on the browser the drop down list and the country names that's it if you like this video please leave your valuable comment share this video and please subscribe my channel catch you on my upcoming videos